Tree situation at Davis Creek Elementary School on Tuesday as a man overdosed in his car in the school pickup line. Now, fortunately, the man was surrounded by people who just jumped right into action to save his life. As News Channel 3's Joseph Payton reports, one woman says it speaks to the character of the Davis Creek Elementary community. I'm usually driving down this road about 2.15 every day. It's the afternoon routine for so many parents of Davis Creek Elementary students. But on Tuesday, Jennifer Schelling's usual routine in the school pickup line became unusual. A driver in front of me had some reckless driving. It raised some concern, so Jennifer kept her eyes on him. There was about two minutes left until the line started moving, and during those two minutes, I did note him, notice him kind of slouching over in his seat. Then the line started moving, and he didn't move. Jennifer called the school office and 911. Cabell County Sheriff says the man suffered a drug overdose, but thankfully, dozens of parents and school staff members sprung into action. Then we had um, innocent just bystanders that happened to have Narcan on them. Wow. If these particular people might not have came by and might not have had the Narcan with them, I don't know if we'd be sitting here talking. There might not have been a good outcome. And thankfully, the outcome would be positive. Sheriff's deputies say he was resuscitated on the way to the hospital, but the man ultimately survived the scary incident. Schelling has high alive. praise for all who were involved, Somebody's... including the school's principal, who cared for the man while emergency services were en route. I've always heard this is a wonderful school, but now I really know it. The teachers, the staff, the parents, they all really chipped in and uh, did everything they could for this guy. Joseph Payton, WSAZ News Channel 3, Cabell County.